No seconds finishing, had good timing. Yep, good placement by the tanks. Just barely out of range of that sunken colony. And you notice that the Terran is not moving his Marines with the tanks. The reason for that is they just get in the way. Until the threat is there, he will not move the Marines up. Yeah, you don't want to have to worry about, you know, moving your tanks around Marines and having the Marines get in the way of where you want to go. Getting the Mutalus out and targeting the engineering bay again. He doesn't want Pro Marine to have vision of his base. And see, when Marine sees those Mutalus in, he starts to move up his Marine forces. It's exactly what you need to do. Yep, that's the cue to bring in the Marines when you see those Mutalus. There's no sunkins there, and that's not good. Marines will just dissolve everything. Marine stimming coming in here. This game could be over pretty quick. It's going to be hard for Telegram to get these forces out of his base. He does have a high Mutalis count, though. That's good to mention. He'll just take out the Marines and the tanks will come. And that Greater Spire is done. Telegram does have the resources saved up. He's going to be morphing about five Guardians, it looks like. Those Guardians need to pop soon. And look at him dodging his drones over here in the corner. He doesn't want to lose them to tanks. He knows that, he, that Marine's going to try and tank hunt him and he just wants them out of the way for clear. He'll take his loss at this moment. Yeah, Killerbrand not even minding at this point. He had to move those drones. And here come the tanks. Oh, this is probably going to be a main hunt, I can only assume. Yeah, but he's not target firing. Nope. He just wants to do damage. He wants to kill as many drones as possible. And those Guardians do morph. So it looks like Killerbrand is going to survive, but at a very high cost. He has not been mining for about 30 seconds now. Yep, and he still can't go to the mine because the tanks are still in the absence of presence. The, the Guardians, now it's the Zerg's turn to have some fun. He's going to try to push us on Marine. Yeah, but I don't know if he can really move out. It looks like Pro Marine is going to be massing starports. He's got throwing down three starports. He knows that the only thing keeping the Zerg alive is his Guardians. And it's going to be interesting to see if he decides to push out and take out what's in the middle or if he's going to go more for a defensive mode. It looks like that's what he's going to do. He's going to be going for creep colonies here. He needs to reestablish his base. I just heard that assaulting him at all. You said like to just kind of taunt the other player while you're not doing anything. But Keely knows what he's doing amongst all. Yep, he's going to be trying to get these sunken colonies up here to prevent tanks and marines from getting in his base and give him time to catch up on his economy that he lost from not mining forever. And of course, marines, no match for guardians. No match. Yeah, you don't want marines going up against guardians. You're going to need wraiths and science vessels for that. And it'll be important for Mafia Killerbrand to not only get sunken colonies, but to also get a couple spore colonies to help fight off those wraiths and vessels. In marine, I think he's still pumping tanks. You gotta mention that. Oh yeah, definitely. You need the tank support. You need to be able to fire on the, these creep colonies, four colonies, and something else. Oh, stim. Oh, it's just a scout, right? Yep, Pro Marine stimming a Marine and then running it in here just to see as much as possible. That's why he stimmed it, so that the Marine can move and see as much as possible before it dies. You might be wondering why Kiwi brought those overlords up. It's for those close rates if they came in. And Pro Marine trying to harass this choke point going up here. He's gonna have to fall back. He's yep. not gonna be able to do anything with that. Great job by Killerbrand surviving. That was a really tough position for him to be in, and it looks like he might actually make this a good game. Great job by Killerbrand. He's pushing out now, and he, he wants to kind of slow down that tank push and tank count. Good micro, micro and Guardians. I mean, it's one of the slowest unit, and then he's trying to do it. I like it. <laughs> yeah, nice job there by Killerbrand, not losing a single Guardian in that fight. But it looks like both players staying broke. Marine doing some really good macro here. He's got a lot of air coming and out. And Marine has Wraiths coming out. He's going to be Overlord hunting right now at this moment. He's going to try and limit the vision of Keely, I'm sure. Yeah, this is nice harassment by Pro Marine. He's just going around looking for Overlords. He's going to skip that Overlord. He wants to come in here and do some harassment yep. on the drones. No Spore Colonies. No Hydroists. Great move by Pro Marine. The Utilist coming in with Scourge. Nice job by Killerbrand. Killerbrand, Killerbrand, Scourge. Scourge helps limit this race nice and quick. Oh, but we tell his first race, it's not a likely battle. You don't want that. I'm pretty sure he's building scourges right now. Nope, some more Metallus coming in, it looks like. Yep, Pro Marine barely winning this air battle. He's taking the air superiority away from Mafia Killerbrand. The only thing keeping him alive is these Guardians here and stopping the tanks from pushing in. And by the way, Keely putting up those two spores, and that's just for the Wraiths. Spore Wraiths can't touch anything with the Spore Colony. Yep, he needs to get some spore colonies down at his main, though. If he only had one spore colony here, he would be fine against his race. More waves coming in to just keep this battle continuing. You know, and every Mutalis that pumps out now is just going to be shot down instantly. It's almost like he needs Hydralis or spore colonies right here, right now, in his base. He's losing Jurassic wow. Drone Count. You can't have that. Yeah, I don't see this recovering, actually. I really don't. Good job at Pro Marine. He wasn't even worried about going at the choke here. He just wanted to go straight for his economy. And now Killerbrand finally gets some high to us out. He got that dent down because he knew he had to. And Pro Marine microing his rates here, trying to get away from those Scourge and uh -huh. kill them. But uh -huh. one rate does go down. It's it's hard to prevent those Scourge from hitting you like that. And it looks like Pro Marine is just going to take 
the damage he's done and try to get out of here safely with his wraiths. I'm pretty sure he'll do some, yeah, Overlord taunting like I thought. Yeah, uh, good move from Keeley. He knew he had to adjust to get a few wraiths. I mean, sorry, a, a few Hydralists. I mean, even if we didn't want to go that tech, he needed him to fight off those wraiths. Yep, and it looks like now Pro Marine is going to be coming in with his mass. He's going to be really trying. Pro Marine is basically maxed. He's got about 185 supply here. He's just going to be pushing in, trying to take down these Guardians and his choke. He has so many Zerg drones and made him waste so much money and forced him to go Hydra, so he's feeling comfortable by doing this attack. Pro Marine going all out to take out his Guardians, sacrificing all of his rates because he knows if he eliminates those Guardians that the game is over. Yep. I think he's broken this choke here. And the Hydralists aren't going to be able to do anything against those tanks and that high marine count. So this is pretty much going to be the GG point of the game. Yep, and Mafia Killer Man is size stuck. He cannot make units because of Pro Marine harassing his overlords like that. This game is pretty much over, and I would expect GG here in the next minute or so. Yep, definitely expect those tanks will be come moving in once those siege. That's going to be the GG point of the game. We'll just take out the Marines, but the Wraith will be able to fight off all the air units. Just target firing the Guardian there. And there's the GG. Good game.